where is Balabac Island and why you should go here. Balabac Island is the last frontier because it is located in the southernmost part of Palawan, Philippines, which is just 50 kilometers away from Saba, Malaysia. Palawan is always hailed as one of the best beach destinations, not just in the Philippines, but also in the whole world. From Koran, Are going to Balabac Island. In this video, I will share with you my four days and three nights travel guide to Balabac Island. If you are interested, then please do keep on watching. Before going to Balabac Island, these are the important things you need to know. Bulliluyan Port is approximately five hours away from Puerto. Princesa. It is better to book a flight one day prior to the target start of your tour. We stayed in Floral Villarosa Hotel, which is just one kilometer away from Puerto Princesa International Airport. It is also close to great shopping choices like Robinson's Place Mall Palawan, Asiano Arts and Crafts, and many more. I suggest you book the earliest flight so you can explore the beautiful city of Puerto Princesa. If you are looking for a luxurious type of vacation, Balabac is not for you. It's the most remote island of Palawan, but if you are ready to rock the island life, this video is perfect for you. Our van picked us up at 3 a.m. and we started the tour as soon as we arrived at the port because there are islands to pass to where we are staying. Our first stop is Canimeran Island. Sandflies and mosquitoes are everywhere, so do not forget to bring your insect repellent or you can use coconut oil too. Third wheel lang muna tayo for today's vlog. Next time ako naman yung may kasama dito. Nabangan niya yan. I promise. Second stop is Tangkahan Island. We had our lunch here and we took a rest for a little before going to the next island. The vloggerist. Vloggerist Temple. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I could use a little something to do. We could go outside, take a little ride if you want to. That's cool. I did what I was supposed to. There's nothing left for me to do. So now I'm poking out my head through open windows. Cause that's what I feel like. Do it tonight. Waking up my brain, maybe you can do the same.
Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with the dogs, the island dogs. Oh, oh, yeah. So, ayan. Ang friendly niya na. Oh, oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> We booked a tour with Camp Malaya Balabak Island Tours for 12,490, which includes four days and three nights accommodation, van and boat transfers, and full board meals. There's no signal in most areas, and the only network that is working here is Smart SIM card. This is the right place to disconnect to reconnect. There's no electricity in most campsites. However, they operate a generator from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. So don't forget to bring your extra batteries and power banks. Good morning, guys. It's our second day. Ang itinerary namin for today ay ano itinerary ko ya? Ono oh, ang highlight. Tapos, tapos na subata at saka kandaraman sa bar service. Na subata reef. Opo. Tsaka kandaraman sandbar po. Starfish. Kandaraman kandaraman starfish. Sandbar. <laughs> Basta ayan may mga starfish doon tapos mag free dive kami sa na subata reef. And yung highlight is yung Onok Island. Siguro naman familiar na kayo doon. Yun yung may parang Maldives kineme. So later you'll find out. We're now here in Onok Island, the highlight of our second day. Ito kami lunch. We will be staying here until 1 p.m. So sulit na sulit. Onok Island is my most favorite island we've been to. A small paradise where the sky looks like it meets the sea. Clear waters, lots of sea turtles, coral reef, giant clubs, and a fine sandbar appear during low tide. Our second stop is the Subata Reef, the perfect spot for diving and snorkeling. I follow the signs, you're looking like a one way. Gotta make the right choice. Hope I make the right noise. Hoping that you like boys like me. I know you're feeling me from across the room. I got a feeling you could be my muse. I hear strange when I see you. You say green, but I see blue. Either way, your eyes the ones I'm looking to when I'm hell first. Falling from heaven, baby.
last stop was Starfish Sandbar that only appears based on the tide level. Unfortunately, we arrived during high tide. Starfish were still visible and it felt like we were stargazing. Good morning, Balabak Island. It's our third and last full day here. It took almost two hours to get here. Sobrang layo. Alam mo, inip na inip na ako. Ayan. Ang meron dito is parang may sandbar doon. Kaya lang, sabi ni Kuya, sobrang lambot daw nung sand. Lulubog ka talaga. Though, I want to experience kaya lang may mga bitbit ka ng gamit. So, baka mabasa. Mabasa, I mean. And then, ayun yung island. Since sobrang babaw ng water, lalakarin na lang namin siya. Medyo may kalay naman. Ayan, nakikita niyo ba yun? Sobrang linaw doon. Medyo maputi yung doon pa. Yun yung sun na sobrang lambot daw na pwede ka nang lumubog. So let's go. Tignan nyo naman yung view. Like oh wow wow. Ayan, para siyang Lost Island. Walang katao-tao. Walang signal. And walang nakatira. Look. Sobrang nice. And by the way guys, look at our team suit. Machi-machi kami. Itato. We are wearing fuchsia paint. Look at the sand. Lumulubog yung pa ako. Ano no? O diba? Sokot ni. Wow. Look at that. It's our last full day and our first stop is Punta Sebari. The sand is perfectly fine and white. Wishing I was the reckless one And you had the nerve to shrug You said I'm skipping town a couple months Picked up all your late night calls Took your crumbs that none at all Ang dami mga puting maliliit Para silang ano, lamok sa dagat After our lunch, we went to Mansalangan Sandbar Don't forget to use your sunscreen and get baked in the sun Kanibungan, the island of pine trees. It is a beautiful island, but we didn't stay long because there were many sand flies. Welcome to the island of pine trees. Hindi lang pala siya sa malalamig na lugar tumutubo. Possible din dito sa mga isla, sa maiinit na lugar. And ang cool lang kung paano sila tumubo, it's because of the birds na nagdala ng mga seeds ng pine trees dito. Hindi ko na alam kung anong klaseng ibon sila. Hindi ko na naitanong. Basta ayun. Sila ang number one reason. Sila ang reason why may mga pine trees na tumubo dito. So, ang sarap lang mag-chill dito kasi ang daming pine trees. Medyo presko ang hangin. And nakakatamad na mag-swimming kasi pasong-paso na yung balikat ko, guys. At ang daming nik-nik, mga besh! Ayan, medyo nakaka-paranoid na. 
Ayan yung mga pine trees. Well, iba siya compare sa Baguio or Tagaytay. Pero pine trees po yan. Ayan. Ang cool. Kahit di ka na magtayin ng Christmas tree. Tapos look at the view. Sobrang blue talaga. Parang Gatorade. At ang init guys. Sobrang nakakapaas. Dream of me angel to Again, so we are now back because and dami ng nickname. Kasi ato kami maaga ngayon. Kasi mas gusto siya na namin magchill dito. Kasi sa island na maraming nickname, mas comfortable pa. And welcome to Shargao. The Labak group of islands is truly a paradise on earth, a perfect escape from the busy city life.